it's psychological when you hide from someone something happens to you you begin to avoid that person or that thing or that house or a group of people and you live away from them or you move away sometimes without your knowledge my dear friends a lot of us hide ourselves from god probably it's because of your personal problems your mental status or something is happening in your personal life however i want you to cross check yourself and ask yourself this question why are you hiding from god what is the single biggest reason you are choosing to stay away from god and hide from him genesis 3:8 speaks about this amazing verse where in the cool of the day god came and he wanted to talk to adam and eve but they hid themselves i want you to read this verse very carefully this verse speaks to me about the undivided attention god wants to give to us he wants to hear us he wants to interfere in our daily life he wants to interfere in our casual lives he wants to check what's happening are you able to manage your life are you able to sleep peacefully are you eating food properly are you having fun but something funny here they hid from the lord behind the trees my dear friends a lot of us unknowingly we are hiding from god and god is talking to all of us and saying i am here waiting for you in the cool of the day where are you are you okay are you hiding from me because you did something wrong you disobeyed me or probably you did something which you are feeling guilty about i haven't condemned you i haven't judged you says the lord i did not punish you for anything big but why are you hiding from me my dear friends is the psychological factor where a lot of believers are getting drowned and many of them don't want to pray they are thinking so much of their everyday issues so much so that their focus on the lord is becoming absurd and they are hiding from god i hope you are not one of those people who are hiding from god what's the sign that you are hiding from god you will feel lethargic to pray you will question your physical abilities you will question your motives sometimes you might even ask is there god as human beings we all get angry we question god that's why we are human right but you know what god understands us and therefore god begins this conversation with us and says what's happening with you can i help you i insist i want to hear you feel free to talk to me you don't have to talk big things just be very frank with me god wants to know the exact thing what is bugging you the scary part about hiding from god is that you would go so far from him and you may be feeling so down you miss the opportunity the time and the purpose of worship to understand god's ways in your life so much so that you are completely under the control of satan my dear friends watch out if you can read the preceding verses of this particular chapter here and read how eve was tempted by the serpent and how the serpent caused this conversation to happen and how that conversation took eve down and that conversation took adam down too my dear friends satan might often come to you in the form of unnecessary conversations with people which might enable you to hide from god be very careful what kind of comments you're passing in secret be very careful what kind of ideas you're sharing with people satan is going to use silly conversations and he is going to question the authority of god in your life and how do you deal with that stop hiding from god if you have done something wrong come loudly to god and say lord you have to hear me out i am a sinner i have done something wrong please forgive me i want to move forward with my life it's done i am fed up with this hiding it's eating my life people are leaving me i am not able to pray i can't focus on my family i am preferring to be alone most of the time i cannot just do this anymore this is how you should deal with your hiding from god and once you come out of hiding you know what philippians chapter 4 speaks about amazing peace believe me the moment you come out of your hiding the peace of god will transcend everything else in your life i'm going to be frank with you coming out of hiding is not going to be joke 
it's going to be difficult it's going to hurt you because you're coming out of the crutches of darkness you're coming out of the crutches of satan and it is going to hurt you when you come away from sins when you come away from your sinful life from hiding into great light into freedom initially it's going to hurt you in your body it's going to hurt you in your heart it's going to hurt you in your mind why you were used so much into sin that when you come into life a portion of that sinful life is going to drag you back in and god wants you to know no matter what crap you have done in your life if you are willing to come back from your hiding and declare that lord i do not want to be hiding again you are going to be set free in jesus name my dear friends a lot of mature christian believers are in hiding they do not know they are hiding and that's why they have spiritual blockages let me clear that for you a lot of christians know the word a lot of christians know how to worship god they know how to pray but at the same time some christians have the biggest unanswered questions in their life where are they headed what has god called for them in their life what purpose does god have for them in their lives and so many other questions the more people get into hiding you may worship god you may sit at god's presence but unless and until you come out of hiding satan is going to have his grip into your life let me give you an example judas was in hiding he was in jesus's presence right under his nose but he was hiding from jesus judas sat among the 12 he ate with jesus he moved with jesus he saw the miracle working power of jesus he saw so many people delivered in jesus's ministry then how did satan get a hold of him he somehow persuaded judas to hide from jesus to maintain his secret life my dear friends if you do not deal with hiding from god your secret life is going to be messy and satan will have his crutches over your life and by the time you realize it you might have been praying you might have been seeing dreams and visions but you might have been very far from jesus one of the most scariest verses in the bible for me is when jesus looks at these people and these people tell jesus oh lord i have done this in your name i have healed the sick i have done so many things in the ministry and jesus will tell them get away from me i never knew you my dear friends you may have all the experiences of christian life however the thing that is going to separate you from dark force is that how much are you going to be hiding from god and how much of your life is going to be revealed and free for you to live in jesus's name my dear friends i hope none of you are going to be hiding henceforth i break that sin in jesus name in your life and i pray that you will live a free life where you will declare your faith in jesus name that you will declare your sinful life away from the light and you will come out away from hiding so that you will become partakers in the kingdom of god may god bless you and i pray and i believe all kinds of hiding is going to be destroyed in jesus name and god is going to start setting you free god bless you see you very soon